All right. Hello, hello. We are back in my office and I'm going to give you a quick desk tour. I'm hoping that I can do this all in one so I don't have to mess with uploading video clips, but we will see what happens. So when you walk into my office, my desk is here. There's a bed over there, but my desk is where we're going to be focused. I can give you a full office tour if you want, but I want to start with um, the drawers and then what's down here and we will then move to the top. So in the top drawer here, I just have some uh, general adulting stuff. So like stamps, sticky notes for books, um, more sticky notes because I literally have a problem. Um, highlighters, I've got some new Stabilos, I've got some mild liners, some Sharpies, and then like I said, page flags, sticky notes for annotating books. And then in here, this is where I keep, if I can open it, I probably can't, it's fine. Um, this is where I keep my Archer and Olive acrylographs. I only have a couple of sets because they were on sale and I've been wanting them for a while. And that box is from Muji. I don't think Muji makes it anymore though, which is unfortunate because I wanted another one. Then in this drawer, I've got some letter sets from the Coffee Monsters Co., a bunch of letter sets from AliExpress. Then there's a couple from Kino Kunia. I have a pencil box from Muji back here, a Shroot Farms breakfast mint tin that I keep like little sticker flakes and stuff in when I travel. This is from an owl crate box that keeps some pencils in it, um, metallic watercolors, Prima watercolors, and then this has pencils and markers in it. It's a tin from Amazon. Then I have some handmade envelopes, some more envelopes um, for when I send out pen pal letters. Then I have some little shred. And then this down here, um, when I was a kid, I showed cows in 4-H and I had my own show box. So I made a One Dream Farms Holstein thing for, uh, for my show box cover. Then in this drawer under here, we have some, if you can see my foot, I'm sorry. We have some general junk. Empty AirPods, empty AirPods box, a cable for something, I don't know what it's for, mini staplers, flashlight, hard drive, the box for my library stamp, um, a book sleeve, and another book sleeve from book boxes, and then my sister bought me this pencil case from Peru. And then down here, from Starbucks, and then just some backup G2 pens. And then a burn after reading book with a pen on it. And then I have the packaging from JB's album under here, some letter stickers, and then some church stuff. And then in this drawer, just some more general adulting things. Well, not really. There's got stuff and stuff in here, but trivia game, um, K pop photo cards, a journal, like an extra notebook, um, some envelopes, banner stuff, because I make banners sometimes for my friends, a six hole hole punch, some extra paintbrushes which for my Mod Podge, and then I've got a card case and then a little box of just random tins, I think, to be honest. It's a box of boxes. Story of my life. And then under here, we've got all of the books I use to study Korean. So I've got my notebooks of notes right here, or my binders of notes, my notebook that I take quick notes in class, my more extensive studying. Um, Let's study Korean. It's like a practice workbook. Then I've got some writing workbooks and I've got my student books for class. Um, another student book for class, a dictionary, some other stuff I'm working through, some storytelling stuff, and then another notebook for when this one is full. On that top shelf right there, I have my K-pop albums. And then that brown box is just full of fountain pen inks, my stapler, and then my three hole hole punches in the back. And then down here, I have my label maker. So now I'm going to stand up. Oh boy, here we go. All right. <laughs> I'm not that old, but sometimes I feel like I am. So I have my daffodil plant from Michael's that I bought. And then I have this unit, which is essentially just Crayola super tips. And then under here, I have a bunch of like Korean pictures for my like K-pop journals and stuff in there. On the top, I've got a picture of Jin Young, a roll of tape, some scissors, a mug from Grandfather Mountain, a mug from the Adirondacks, and then my room spray, which smells wonderful. Then I have a bunch of washi tape from the Coffee Monsters Co. I keep that stuff separate because it's a little bit more pricey and a little bit more specialty, so I take better care of it. Um, oops. Um, address book, journal, 
not sure what that is. Notepads, K-pop journal, quote journal, life journal, reading journal. Um, then I'm gonna stand up for a second and sit in my chair because I can have better room over here. All right, and then we get into my pens. I downsized a lot on my pens this year. I used to have two full drawer units of pens, but now I'm down to one, which honestly, praise God. Um, so the pens up here are ones I tend to use more frequently. So I've got like my really nice Energel pen and my Energel Clenas, which I use all the time. And then I've got um, a really nice ballpoint pen for my real estate office, which is cool. Some of my BT. It turns out my, or it turns out my phone ran out of storage. So, you know, we do what we can around here. So um, I'm going to just pick up where I left off. So um, like I was saying, I've got Energel Clenas. I've got Sakura Micron. I've got a um, mild liner that I use a lot. My mechanical pencil, some Bic, um, or Pentel like gel pens. Then I have these cards my mom got me that are just essentially like Bible cards that talk, like do a brief overview of every book in the Bible. There's some postcards over there. Then moving down here, I've got all of my like brush pens. So like my Funosuke and a couple of like Pentel touch sign pens I have down there. Over here, I've got a couple of like art sticker books. Um, I think there's like a little Got7 journal in there. And then I have my um, G2, Pilot G2 pens here. And then I've got a bunch of refills. So I've got refills for my Energels and for Pilot G2s, but I've been buying more packs of G2s, to be honest. Then I have Jelly Roll pens. Ooh, that was a horrible sound, I'm sorry. Um, my Jelly Roll pens, um, those are the colors that I use. I got rid of the rest of them. Then I have some more like, Muji gels, some of the Paper My Ink Joys. I think that's a Pilot Friction fountain pen or like a like some kind of fountain pen. A gold gel pen, um, silver gel pen, and then a couple of G2s in different colors down here. Then I have my vintage Sakura, or Sarasa pens, sorry, Sarasa pens, which I, ha I haven't used yet, but I use them sometimes, but not a lot. And then down here, I have my Muji 0.5s in a couple of different colors. Those are like some of my favorite pens to practice my Korean with. They just make your handwriting look so nice. And they always flow really, really well. Um, I just don't like that the newer ones, like you can tell the different designs by the caps. And the newer ones kind of tend to stick or um, skip sometimes, but that's okay. And then down here, um, just some mechanical pencils and then a couple of mechanical pencil erasers. Uh, Muji's and then I think they're like Bic or Pentel or something. Um, they're the really nice uh, mechanical pencils. Then moving up here I have some stickers from a pen pal and then I have these like Kitta, I'm gonna knock everything over. I have Kitta washi strips which are actually pretty cool. So they come in these little flip pack thingies and then they have four different designs in each one. So I have four or five packs of those and then I have, ah I told you I was gonna knock everything over, it's fine. Uh, hot mess, doing our best. And then I have tape and then some stickers I want to use as soon as I can. Then I have the remote to my CD player, my crochet hooks, um, a retractable eraser that I bought when I was in Poland, and then a Gryffindor pen and some mechanical pencil lead. It is in a Vincenzo Cassano uh, mug that also says corn salad because if you have watched Vincenzo, you know they can't say consigliere, so they call them a corn salad. Then I have all three of my fountain pens. I keep them up here because I don't really have a good place to store them. And if you store them vertically, they dry out and I don't like that. And then I have my Tombow glue, my pencil sharpener. And then back here, cheeky little picture of Lucas. Um, I have my Gin um, Love Yourself, maybe, or Boy With Love or some, one of those um, pop figure. Then I have some Korean stamps, some U like American stamps. And then I have another American alphabet stamp back there. I have a paid stamp. I have a little box of Sumiko Garashi stickers. The box is from one of my first, the students my first year teaching, um, and I couldn't get rid of it. And then this is my super sick library stamp my sister got me for my birthday. And I've got two washi dispensers, some chapstick, and then I also have this little Korean seal of my last name, which is like my favorite thing ever. It's one of my most treasured possessions.
Then if we keep on on the top here, I have a little got seven ten. I have a Steve Irwin pop figure. He's only a little alligator. He's so cute. I love him. And then I have a red onyx stone because I'm writing a book where the character wears a red onyx necklace. And then I have this little teeny tiny lamp from AliExpress, which is like so cute. And then this was a um being get that toy soldier was being given out at a restaurant my sister and really like for us to remember to pray for the troops over Memorial Day. Then I've got stamps, stamp pads. Um, these pens, they're Manami Plus pens, I think they're called. These are basically um, fine liner, like fine point um, felt tip pens. And I love using them for when I'm practicing my Korean. Then I'll go through all the bottom stuff in a second. Then over here, I have a Breakfast Club mug. Breakfast Club is one of my favorite movies. This just has my watercolor brushes, my box cutter, my tweezers, a white paint marker, and then a couple of pencils in here, and then a wand thing from a swap that I did for Christmas. And then over here, I have um, some more kind of like nerdy specific pens, I guess. Um, I have some Manami Plus pens. Then I have my um, Midori um, Hobonichi pens that are like three different colors. I've got an RJ pen, a Totoro pen, and then a Harry Potter wand pen. And then I've got a Got7 mirror, a little turtle charm that I took the jump ring off of because he's really cute. There's more chapstick back there. I don't know why I love chapstick so much. Um, my... A couple of little like library dictionary book thingies that I love for journaling, my whiteout, and then my class ring. And then from here we move down into my actual journaling, journaling supplies. So on here I just have some like ephemera and like little bits and stuff. Um, I just said bits and I sounded like another YouTuber I watch. Um, these are like just little random pieces of ephemera and then I have them kind of organized by color family. So I've got warms here, cool colors up here, neutrals down here, and then in this drawer down here I have both Korean and U.S. alphabet stickers, and then these three drawers are all my washi tape. They each have three rows, and I've kind of tried to organize most of them by color if I can, and then the bottom one is just kind of like random patterned washi. I don't use the patterned ones as much as I use the grid ones and the colored ones. Then I have a coaster from a um, Korean box, like a Inspire Me Korea box. This candle sits on top. It's called Pink Champagne. It smells really good. It smells like fruity, summer, sugary stuff. Then I have this stone coaster I bought to try to make some wax seals. And then I have a um, Shadow and Bone quote from Nikolai that says, I keep to a strict diet of ill-advised enthusiasm and heartfelt regret. I love that mug rug thing. And then this is, book is on my TBR. And then my mom got me this mouse pad for Christmas. It is a Parks and Rec quote. So sometimes you got to work a little so you can ball a lot. And I love it. I love it so much. Then I have one of my two calendars that are on my desk. This is was in an inclusion in the Our Beloved Summer soundtrack, which I'm obsessed with. It's on my CD player right now. Then I have my Korean vocabulary cards. I have my other calendar and then a little cross and then some more Korean flashcards because that is my entire existence. Um, and then up here, like on this column thingy, these are mostly planner stickers and pictures I want to use in my journals. Most of my planner stickers are from one company, um, company, the Coffee Monsters Co., which I'm obsessed with. I love her stickers. I love Helen. She's so great. And then in this top one, I have literally just pictures of Jin Young for my journals. And then this is pictures and like quotes and stuff like that for my journals. Then you move over into this drawer unit right here. Um, this top one right here is just a bunch of like random stuff that I want to use in my journals right away. Um, I have not been very successful in doing that, but it's there for me to be guilty about. Um, up here is some double-sided tape and then my AirPods case. Oh no. Um, well, my one set of my AirPods are in here. And then in this one, there's just a bunch of random like odds and ends. So like needles, box cutters, a origami frog I made, this eraser from Muji. When I go to New York, I'm going to get another one because it's my favorite. Um, 
Correction tape, Midori paper clips, a Mr. Rogers tin. I think there's paper clips in here. More paper clips because God knows I don't have enough paper clips. This is a bookmark from the Red Sleeve um, soundtrack, the Red Sleeve Cuff soundtrack, which I love. And then I have a couple, a ruler, and then back here, this, uh, there's another bookmark back there. And then that towel is just for when I use my wax seal. Um, this drawer is more travel themed stuff. So I've got like New York stickers, um, travel ephemera, papers. I just dumped the whole drawer everywhere. I love that for me. Um, just all kinds of like random travel-y kind of stuff. So when I decide to sit down and do something travel related, I can, or like I'm going somewhere, I can just pull from here to grab some stuff to bring with me. Then I have my wax seals. Um, one of them is a Gryffindor seal. The one in that little box right there is a six, like a crow's seal. Um, so I can pretend I'm Kaz Brecker when I'm sealing letters. I've got a Fire Nation symbol and then a symbol of my name in there. And then I've just got some random like wax, I guess. Um, and then some wax sticks, my wax spoon. And then down here, these are more like decorative sticker sheets. I got really sick of having them categorized, so I just kind of put them all together. I really like rifling through them anyway, so it doesn't bother me that they're like that. And then in my last drawer, I super downsized on my Tombow markers. Um, I had an entire case of these, probably close to every color you could get, but I wasn't using them all, so I got rid of a bunch and only kept the ones that I generally use. Um, any of the ones with a green like sticker on them are from Kino Kunia, which is where I would buy them um, until I realized Michaels carries them. And then I started going ham, it's fine. We all do what we, we all do what we gotta do. No, close. All right, I'll fix that in a minute. <laughs> um, and then in this drawer, I have a bunch of sticker flakes and then there are some red bubble stickers mixed in. So like, this one is probably one of my favorite ones. We the jury find the villain hot. That's completely me all the time. It's about the yearning. My friend Sarah got me this one of Jesper for my birthday, or maybe I got it for myself, I don't know. Um, I got this for myself and for Sarah, and this is that Jade um, City, the call seal. And then I just have like a bunch of just random as heck, like sticker bits, sticker flakes, things I've purchased, like K-pop stickers, like all sorts of stuff in here. I use those more often than any other of my stickers, I think. And then up here I have like sticky notes and journaling spots and random little bits of ephemera. And then up here, same thing. There's like sticky notes, journaling spots specifically. Um, I really enjoy those. A lot of the like pads and like notepads and stuff for, that are at the bottom were sent to me by pen pals. And then in this drawer, I just have some like Bible book, Bible themed and book themed stuff. So like when I redo my um, or like when I set up my new journal or my new um, reading journal spreads, I like to make them kind of k pop -y themed. So I have pictures of Jin Young and JB reading. And then these are all like scripture things and Bible study things for my scripture journal. And then I think, oh, no, I have one more. One more drawer to go. And then I have been wanting these three watercolors for a while. Um, and Michael's was having like a 30% off, like lowest price of the season thing or whatever. So I finally got Payne's gray watercolor and then earth green, which I'm obsessed with that color. I did not think I was going to like this color as much as I did. And then this yellow ochre, which I was a little bit surprised by how yellow it was, but at the end of the day, I really shouldn't have been. So those just kind of go up here. And that is my desk. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see anything else in my office, let me know.